Guys, let's talk about the Ten Commandments of the Pole Vault. Yeah. Welcome to the Pole Vault Vlog, where I tend to overuse the fart sound. If you like these vlogs, or you like that I made another one, how would you just hit that like button? It kind of helps me out continue to make these. There are so many dogs bark. Also, if you like my face and want to see more of it, give the subscribe button just a little tickle. If you don't like my face, Ouch. Commercial time! Head over to vsathletics.com for all of your track and field and pole vault needs. They have everything you could ever want. And their website saves you monies if you use these codes. It also makes you more attractive to the opposite sex. Or if you're gay, it makes you attractive to the same sex. Team Hoot is growing. If you guys want to help it grow and be a part of my team, go to team-hoot.com. In the upper right hand corner it says join Team Hoot and our flock will grow. Today was my last pole vault camp of the summer. It was in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. And here is a little video of that. in a picture. This is ridiculous. Thanks for trying my stuff, man. I feel like throwing up physically in cross country and mentally in pole. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You're so close. I wish we had another that half hour. Yeah. You would have had it. Guys, the kids are awesome. It was like 7,000 degrees and it felt like I sat into a swimming pool with just my butt. Sean, that's gross. I don't like you talking like that unless you make that fart sound. I wanna say a huge thank you to Cody Hawkins. He set up this whole vault camp from scratch. He was like the mastermind behind this thing. Thank you. By the way, he broke his leg in a motorcycle accident, so he wasn't even able to hang out the whole time. So if you guys would be ever so kind, go down in the comments and leave Cody some nice love so he has some stuff to read while he's, Cody, you're the man. Also, I got this card from one of the coaches who was there. Isn't it adorable? Coach Clark, I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me the last couple days, and this is being saved forever. Guys, pole vault news. Last week I talked about Grandpa Bell, 95 years old, attempting the world record. And guess what? He did it! He jumped 1.35 meters, 4 feet, 5 inches, and smoked it. I think this is a 6 world record? And one of my favorite pole vaulters on the women's side, Katie Najat, also known as Negat, Nagat, Nugit, Nagare, Catherine Najat. I've never heard that. I just I was trying to say something funny and it didn't work, Sean. Guys, last week Katie Najat jumped 4.72 meters. This means she is number seventh on the all-time list in the United States, and she broke the top 30 women pole vaulters of all time. And then here's another cool thing that happened. The next week she jumped a centimeter higher and jumped 4.73 meters. Holy consistency lady balls. Jeez, that's insane. Paulus Puches, Pujats. I am the worst name reader of all Paulus Puches. Pujats, Pujats, Pugats. <laughs> he took the time, hopefully gave this little girl the pole vault bug. I'd like to celebrate when this type of stuff happens. You guys, all three of you on different levels, all doing different things are spectacularly amazing. You're awesome. All right, let's do the 10 commandments of the pole vault, starting with number 10. Thou shalt keep the standards as deep as you can. Number nine, thou shalt spend more time off of the runway training than on the runway in training. Seriously. Number eight, no one cares about PR. Bungie PR. Seven, if you are out of the pole vault competition, thou shalt not coach kids in the pole vaulting competition. Actually, just don't coach anyone unless they ask you to. This goes for coaches too. You guys gotta knock that shit off. I don't like it. Don't do it. Number six. Thou shalt shake the official's hand after the meet is over. Most of these officials are volunteers and they're there because they love the sport. The least you can do is shake their hand and thank them for volunteering their time to run a great meet. High fives are also welcome. 
Number five, thou shalt become a student of the event. And remember, there's a lot of dogs barking, but don't remember that. But remember, your coaches are also students of the event. So give them some slack, they're students too. Number four, thou shalt use more crossbars than bungees. Number three, speed is the enemy of technique. Progress slow and progress safe. Number two, thou shalt avoid landing on their feet in the pole vault pit. If you like your ankles, just don't do it. And the number one rule of pole vault, which you guys should already know, is thou shalt never let go of the pole. If you have any ideas or different commandments, I guess we'll call them, or rules, put them down in the comments below. Maybe make your own top 10 list and let's see what ones we all agree on and what ones we don't. And we can get a little, we can get some fun going down in the comment section like a little Guys, let's review some videos. I'm just gonna review one this week because it's now 9.40 and I still need to edit this thing. And I promised I would do Julia's video. Let's take a peek. So really is what I, all I told Julia is I want you just to jump off the ground. If we kind of look at that last step just a little bit, we're a little bit in front, a little bit low, a little bit hitting some of this braking force. And then it's like we're kind of running into the takeoff. But I think, I see you run and there are springs in your legs that I think if you jumped off the ground a little bit, it is gonna make a world of difference for you. You're gonna be higher up on the pole, you're gonna be a little, you're already super tall, so we're just adding more. And then you're jumping and your foot's gonna be underneath you instead of in front of you and all of a sudden you can throw your arms better and everything's just gonna be so much better. That's how I feel about it. Guys, my nose is a little sunburned from this camp. By the way, I got this guy. Guys, that's the vlog. If you guys want to send videos my way, uh, go to team-shoot.com slash gear, and for five bucks, I'll review your video. Helps me pay for my student loans. Because I've got them. Guys, since these camps are over, I just want to thank everybody who gave me the opportunity to try and get these camps off the ground and running. Uh, you guys have been phenomenal. Uh, every single camp I did, all the kids, and a huge thank you to the you coaches. You guys helped a lot of people doing this, and you helped me, and you helped me continue to make these, which is helping even more people, so you guys, I can't thank you enough. Next week, I'm gonna open this box. What could it be? The great Bruce Caldwell sent it to me, and it's a surprise. So you guys gotta tune in next week to see what it is. What do you think it is? Let's leave some more comments down below. Well, that being said, there are more than one ways to pole vault, so find what works best for you, and life is meant to be experienced, and curiosity will get you there. See you guys next week.